Okay, we're gonna load this guy up on. This is the brush for the customer. Perfect. Hopefully, it comes in just perfect. We are at Span, Alaska, digging in this flatbed of products, these uh, attachments that uh, are, uh, that were picked up in, uh, well, I guess at Ritchie Brothers um, in California, and uh, they're being delivered here today at Span, Alaska for the customer. So I am checking in here shortly at the uh, booth to uh, uh, do the paperwork for receiving, and then I'll be unstrapping it and getting it onto the dock, and they will be unloading it. So now that we've arrived, we're gonna go check into receiving and get the paperwork like signed. With everything, you gotta find your receiving dock or receiving station, and then go check in and do the uh, bill of lading paperwork before you unload. There's a receiving station at every uh, uh, location depot that you're dropping off. This is right here and you find the window, you check in with the, with the uh, agent that is in charge of receiving documents. You turn in your bill of lading. They usually uh, review for the customer information, sign the documents, provide you a, a receipt of, uh, well, a receipt basically that you're dropping it off. They direct you to the loading dock and then you unload. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then you get back onto Some the road. Of the uh, docking stations, they have a no filming policy. I don't know if that's the case here or not. But anyway, because of that, I'm just, I didn't want to film inside at the dock station there. Uh, this is our straight bill of lading paperwork and also their. Um, receipt paperwork that needs to go to the lumper or the unload the guy that's going to unload the load uh, anyway this is a stamp a receipt or basically a, uh, a I guess a, a stamp that says that they received the document with their uh, subject ID number and all that stuff for Span Alaska that yellow tag there um, and then there's some uh, I guess shipping information for the product or the, the packages that goes to the lumper. This uh, is proof that we have uh, dropped off the item itself. Uh, now it's, um, they're asking us to go to a staging area where they uh, unload the flatbeds. And so we're gonna, we got the paperwork. We're gonna go unload and unstrap and uh, carry on. Uh, this is kind of the process of uh, dropping off at a um, facil facility like this. Again, that we're at Span, Alaska here in Washington. They have a convenient sign here saying flatbed stop here, right there. And so we're stopped here at, uh, at this time, trying to uh, unload and unstrap everything. And so we're gonna be putting some gloves on. Um, if I can get to my gloves, access to my gloves. And then we're gonna unstrap all this and then the uh, operator is gonna come out, a forklift operator and he's going to un unload all this stuff by forklift.
takes a little bit of time to unload the strap, depending on how many straps you use and how you strap them. In some cases, hopefully, you don't have to break any of them. In some cases, you do. But generally, you shouldn't have to if you strap them properly. Strapping loads requires that you you take these ratchets off and then you unsecure the the load itself so that way the forklift operator can actually reach with the forks and that takes some time here we are we're gonna get this thing unloaded finally to, uh, I guess uh, Alaska for the customer. We're still here at Spanway, Alaska, getting the uh, trailer unloaded. And uh, looks like it's off the truck, finally. It's going to go onto the other truck and get on their way to Alaska to the customer. <laughs> 